Today, we're looking at Joe Skipper's Iron Man Arizona win over a mysterious Sam Long performance. Sarah True caps off an excellent year. Magnus Dilev and Goretz Freddy survived the heat in Cozumel, plus much, much more. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Daily Tries Weekly News Roundup. My name's Travis, and I started this channel a couple months ago to help the sport of triathlon grow, as I think it's the best sport on earth. If you'd like to see it continue, stick around to the end to see how you can help me out. But starting off with Ironman Arizona, and we had a fantastic performance all around from Joe Skipper. He swam well, he led on the bike, and then he ran fantastically to hold off the fast approaching Matt Hansen, who put down a 235 marathon. And Ben Canoe had a fantastic debut Ironman, taking third in his Kona Spa. Joe was extremely emotional in his post race interview, showing just how much the race meant to him and also alluding to the fact that it was extremely hard for him to hold off those runners in the last 10k. Unfortunately, we don't know much about what happened to Sam Long during the race. As we see here, he was seen stretching out during the run, so hopefully not a serious injury, but we do know he was out celebrating with Joe Skipper and his amazing performance that night. All right, over to the women's race where it was a battle between Sky Monch and Sarah True the whole way through, with Laura Brandon taking out the lead at first. Sarah True was the one who ran the fastest in the end and held on for a fantastic victory, booking her Kona spot. Danielle Lewis managed to run all the way back from a 20 minute flat, according to her, to take third place. Then over to Iron Man Cozumel on what seemed like a brutal day, Magnus Ditlev took home the win, but he was pushed hard. Peter Heimrich almost managed to catch him on the run after sticking with him on the bike, but he had to pull out. Then Jan van Berkel came storming up the ranks and he just ran out of room to take the Great Dane who seemed to be suffering a little bit in that treacherous Cozumel heat. Another athlete who suffered in the heat was Rudy von Berg who was one of the favorites for the race. He thankfully finished but was in the hospital later on. Thankfully everything's okay. Over onto the women's race and it was Goretz Freis from Spain who managed to take the victory for her second Cozumel win of the year. A fantastic performance coming back from over 15 minutes down on the bike to Lisa Norden to come home and take the win. Norden finished second and Kyrie Simpson finished third. Over to other triathlon news and Hayden Wilde's appeal for his penalty at the Commonwealth Games has been denied. If you didn't notice what the penalty was right there, it was because Hayden Wilde was said to unclip his helmet just before racking his bike. However, Hayden believes he didn't do anything wrong, but has decided along with Triathlon New Zealand just to move forward, stating that you can't dwell on the past. And I think this will be a good thing for Hayden, who's got a massive battle coming up in Abu Dhabi for the world title against Alex Yi e again, where he can put the record straight. At the same race this weekend, Georgia Taylor-Brown and Flora Duffy will be fighting head-to-head -head for their world title spot. You really can't miss this race. It is the Kona of short course triathlon. And in this year's race, for both the men's and the women's, it is closer than ever. In other news, Kat Matthews won the British Army's Sportswoman of the Year. A great highlight for her considering all that she's been through recently. And then we've got the Ultraman World Championships on the Big Island of Hawaii. You might have seen a few famous names compete there before, such as Rich Roll and David Goggins. It is an extreme event, almost double what Kona is, and it takes place over three days, with the world record time being 21 hours and 40 minutes. A not so extreme race, but one with a lot of prize money and a lot of pros is Ironman Israel. It is stacked with names such as Patrick Langa, Florian Angart, Daniel Backegaard, and Sebastian Keenley. This race is going to be one to watch. Not sure if it'll be broadcast yet, but with a prize purse of $100,000, i am sure it will be. And just remember, it kicks off on Friday and not Saturday or Sunday. And remember, there will be three men's and three women's Kona spots, so stay tuned for who gets that early qualification. Most of the start lists now for the end of year races have been posted on Ironman websites. I figured I'd give them to you here, so feel free to pause. But first up, we've got Ironman Indian Wells, where Lionel Sanders will be racing against potentially Eric Lagerstrom. Paula Finley will definitely be racing on the women's side. Then, over at Ironman Western Australia, we've got the in for Max Newman racing his last race of the year, trying to get an early Kona qualification. On the women's side, we've got the likes of Sarah Crowley looking to do that same thing as well. Lastly, we've got the Middle East Championships taking place in Bahrain, where we've got another good set of names on the list. 
Well, looks like I've done the news in just under five minutes, so if you'll give me that extra 30 seconds, I've got something I'm so pumped to share with you that I think you'll actually really want to hear. When I started this channel, I wanted to come up with ways to help give back to the triathlon community. So the news was one way I thought I could do so. And now the feed has given me another way to do that. If you click the link in my bio and join my athlete club, you will receive $80 in annual credit to use on all their products on their website. There's no strings attached. You get $20 immediately with more drops throughout the year. And then you just have to spend a minimum of $35. And if you spend $65 total, you get free shipping and you also get a custom daily try water bottle with your name on it. I plan to only work with companies going forward who look to help the community. And this is the best deal I've ever seen a triathlon company give someone's followers. The feed is a company that I've used for years before they even reached out to help me in my channel. I couldn't recommend it enough personally, and I will 100% guarantee you'll like their website. If you want to support me in a different way and see more videos like this, head to the Buy Me A Coffee membership where you can join for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, and I really want to see this sport grow. So stay tuned for the next one.